Hey everyone, my name is Gavin, and this will be a video on how to detect what surface your player is on and how to change your code accordingly. Um, so what we're going to do in this one is essentially have a couple of objects with floor properties. So the player is going to read them as a floor, but then we're going to add a couple other things like concrete or metal as other properties that we're going to use to detect whether or not our, um, our cube should um, do certain things. Alright, I'm just going to get started. So let's go from defaults to game logic, blender, render, blender game. And on our cube in the middle, what I'm going to do is rename this as player like this. Let's drag this out. And our player, what we're going to have is actually, well, I'm going to drag this back out, sorry. We're going to add character physics to our player like this and make him an actor like this. And what we're just going to have him do is move forward and backward. So let's have forward like this with the W key selected. And let's have backward like this with the S key selected. And let's add two motion actuators. Motion like this. And let's have um, forward be the name of this motion actuator. And let's have 0 0.2. And let's have backward. And let's have negative 0 0.2. All right, so I'm gonna minimize these and connect our sensors like this to our actuators. And so now that we have this, what I'm going to do is use spacebar and then add a plane. This plane that I add, I'm going to do S and 5 to scale it out five times. And we can see that if I hit P, I can move our cube back and forth. Now on this plane right here, though, what we're going to do is add two different properties. This it doesn't matter what the, what type they are, float boolean, etc. But this first one is going to be called floor. That's one that each of these planes we're going to add needs. But we're going to have metal like this. And now that we have this, I'm going to hit Shift and D to copy it. Drag this one out over here till it's about right here. And let's change this property from metal to concrete. So we've got floor and concrete like this, or metal and concrete. Now what we're going to have is have a collision sensor, or an always sensor, sorry, on our player. And what we're going to do is have a collision sensor now. So if our player is on the property floor, we're going to have collision be the name of the sensor. So if our player is on the floor, what we're going to do is run a Python script like this and connect it like this. Now do templates, Python, and game logic simple. Delete the portion I've highlighted right here. And hit control and scroll up to make your text larger and rename this as scripts.py and add this right here. Now what we want to do first is we want to have if collision dot positive. I'm just going to put um, pass for now because we haven't defined our collision sensor. So let's have collision is going to be equal controller dot sensors collision like this. So now that we have our sensor defined, what we're going to do is we're going to have targets is going to equal um, collision dot hit object. So whatever object our player is currently standing on, which floor, that's going to be the target variable. Then we're going to have properties, a variable, is going to equal targets dot get property names like this. So we're going to get a list of all the properties like that. So if we were to print these properties to the console, what I'm going to do now is print these properties and do window and toggle system console. And we should see that if I hit P, oh, there's an error really quick. Oh, positive like this, my mistake. We can see that we're standing on an object that has the properties floor and metal, but if I move over, it's going to switch to concrete and floor. Okay, that's what we want to see. So now what we want to do is have um, inside of this let's have if and what we're gonna do is have if metal in properties uh, and not um, let's say concrete in properties what we're gonna do is have own dot color is going to equal one comma zero comma zero comma true so if we're standing on metal but there's no concrete involved, we're going to change the color of our player to red. And if concrete in properties, so if one of those properties is concrete and not metal in properties, 
we're going to have own dot color is going to equal zero comma zero comma one comma true. So we're going to change the color of our player to let's say um, blue. So if we were to hit P now, we see it's where we're going to turn red. Then we're going to turn blue, then back to red. So this is why this is important: is that we're te we're testing to make sure which properties belong to which floor. So whenever we're on the metal floor, our player is going to be red. But when we switch to our um, other floor, the concrete one, we're going to turn to blue. And this is useful for things like um, you know running and um, sounds like if you're on a concrete floor but not a metal one, you know, etc. All right, everyone, I'll just show you the script just for one more second. So if your player is on an overall general floor and then they just step on metal or concrete, just switch up the code. Alright everyone, thanks for watching.